how beautiful this park is. I really should come here more often when I'm stressed out. It would really be a great place to relax and read a book or have a picnic or something. God, I'm so nervous again. Just like the first time I was waiting out here for him to meet me. He said it was something important. It must be if he wanted to come to this place where our entire relationship started. I guess it works out since I have something important to tell him. I just hope it goes well. Oh, there he is. Babe, over here. What's that he's holding? Hey, darling. You look handsome as always. <laughs> uh, are those flowers? For me? They're beautiful. But why? Is this about the thing you wanted to meet me here for? Today is our one month anniversary. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. I'm such an idiot. You really got flowers for me? <laughs> You're so sweet. I can't handle it sometimes, you know that? I love you so much. I love to compliment you on choosing this location too. Nice touch, Mr. Romance. Yeah, it's really hard to believe that we met here for the first time under the gazebo. Who knew both of our lives would change forever in a simple place like this? Yes, of course you've changed my life. I mean, just look at me. My hair doesn't cover my face anymore because I'm scared to look at people. I dress in clothes that makes me confident, not clothes to fit student council guidelines. I'm standing up straight instead of staring at the floor all the time. Yeah, my grades still aren't perfect, probably because we spend every study session gossiping and making out. But I just feel like a completely different person. Maybe you taught me to find my true self, the one that I'd bury so deep that no one could ever pull out. You took my hand and showed me that I didn't need to be the person everyone wants me to be but to be the person I want it to be. I honestly couldn't believe it's only been one month. My old self, my old dull life, it seems like forever ago. I'm so, so happy I met you that day. I think it's the best day of my life. <laughs> I'm crying again, you asshole. You knew doing all this would make me cry. You crafty little genius. <laughs> Thank you, love. This is the best one month anniversary ever. Oh, yeah, I forgot. I actually have something important to tell you. I was going to propose I treat you to dinner, but I guess now is a good time to say anyways. Um, so there's a situation right now in the student council. The vice president's dad has got a new job, and they're going to be transferring schools. So, we're going to have an emergency mid-year election for a new one. I know it's a crazy idea, but I know how you feel about school, but I was thinking you should run for the position before you say anything. Just think about it. You're like... The smartest person I know, and so good with people, and I already know the system inside and out. If we run the school together, we'd be unstoppable. There's no telling what we could do. <laughs> yes, I'm serious. I think you're the most qualified person in this whole school for this job. <laughs> Besides, it would mean we could spend a whole lot of time together, too, 
And don't you think the idea of us being a power couple is at least a little bit cool? What? Did you just... Okay, who the hell are you? And what did you do with my boyfriend? Are you actually saying you won't run because you're not sure what people think about you? Wasn't it right here that you told me I should just be myself? This isn't like you. What do you mean it's different? How? Well, yeah, I mean it took a lot of convincing. I couldn't imagine any other member endorsing you so willingly. But should that stop us? You've never gotten yourself down because of other people's expectations. And I told you, you're by far the most qualified person for this. Not only are you a prodigy and a charmer, but you also touch people's hearts. Meeting you made my life better than I ever could have had imagined. Baby, you're like an angel. I just, I want so badly for more people to know you. You're a better leader than I could ever hope. And hey, if anyone tells me you're not worthy of being my VP, I'll defend you as far as it takes. Even if it means losing my spot as president. Please, baby, my darling, the love of my life, take my hands. Look at me. I won't force you into this, but I also absolutely, under no circumstance, will let you refuse because you're not up for it. Please, let me help you realize how amazing you are, just like you helped me that day, right here. Just think about it, okay? Please? And get back to me before... What? You'll... you'll do it? R really? Like, really, really. <sighs> Baby, kiss me. <laughs> yes, it worked. You're actually going to run for my VP. I... I finally paid you back a little for what you did for me. Hey, are you crying? N no, no, it's okay. I would never make fun of you for something like that. Come here. I love you. We're going to crush this, okay? I won't stop until you're my VP. Promise. Oh yeah. You think you could pull it off alone? With your raw charms and all that? <laughs> There's that smug bad boy I fell in love with. Hey. I'm still up for taking you to dinner. It's about that time now. Think of it as an anniversary day treat. What are you thinking? Oh, I was craving ramen. Oh, or pasta. Or do I want breakfast for dinner? <sighs> I can't decide. You just choose. You'll always be the better decision maker. Here we are again, huh? I can't believe it's already been another month. This place is so great. We should make it a tradition to come here every month from now on. <laughs> You're right, Mr. VP. You've even been celebrating more than that one thing today. I knew all would come to their senses as soon as they saw your report card. The look on the historian's face was priceless when he saw your higher English literature grades than him. <laughs> I even think a few girls were checking you out, you know? That's why I kissed you on the cheek and held your hand while we were leaving. Had to show them you're my man. <laughs> <laughs> you're right, I have changed a lot. Can you believe it? I'm the same girl who was nervous asking you to explain trigonometry problems to her. <laughs> Seriously, I'm so happy I got you to step up into it. I always knew you'd be perfect for the job, with you by my side. 
there's nothing standing in my way now. Or standing in our way now. Who knew we would be as good as a match in managing school as we are being a couple. <sighs> two months. Just two months and my world turned upside down. I have a boyfriend. A boyfriend who also is my new best friend. A boyfriend who gave me a new life. Who showed me I could be anything, be anyone, and now he's my closest partner too. It almost feels like the dream. You know, sometimes I ask myself what I even did to deserve this. I was just a sad, lonely girl in, in a sad, lonely world until you came crashing in. Every time I think about it, my heart just leaps, my eyes start watering, and I want to bury my face in something and scream out in pure happiness like a little girl. I don't believe in things like faith but somehow I just can't explain it. I don't understand why, how you fit me so perfectly, and even why still I fit you so perfectly. How we just bring out all of the best parts in each other. That day, me needing a tutor and you needing a student, the rain, the atmosphere, it's like I said, it's like we were meant to be for each other. When I met you, it was like a fairy tale love story. You were the prince I've always dreamed of. With you, colors were deeper, candy was sweeter, the stars shined brighter. Everything felt so magical. I couldn't think of anything else except you and how much I love you. Whatever it was, I'm so, so happy. I, I want to spend the rest of my life with you. The rest of the world would be damned. The student council, tutoring, the whole school, everything. You're all I'll ever need. I love you. Oh my god, are you serious? <laughs> yeah. Just like that day. We even whacked here and everything. Except we don't have any books to use and umbrellas this time. So I guess we're stuck here for now? <laughs> no, no, I'm not upset. Why would I be? I love the rain now. Since it gave me you.